This is why I said I knew it was a bad idea giving this random girl a gun. Here we are, guys, of Attack on Titan, the final season, episode eight. No, potato girl. Damn you, Gabby. She gave you mercy, and this is how you, this is how you freaking pay her back. Ugh, I mean, I'll give her a break, though, because Sasha and her friends pretty much did kill her neighbors and friends in front of her, so I'll give her a break for that. Well, guys, we lost an OG here. Rip Sasha. Rest in peace. Now, guys, let's get back to the episode. So last episode, the Warriors pretty much all got raped. Everyone besides Zeke. Zeke intentionately avoided the raping. So it's shown that Zeke has actually teamed up with Paradise Island. He's actually on their side. And it's not surprising because we can all agree that the Beast Titan went down way too freaking easy. And now let's get to that Reiner versus Aaron fight. More like a confrontation because Reiner didn't do anything. It's sad. The last episode had Reiner transforming with that badass music. Only for him to get one only for him to get KO'd by Aaron, so that was misleading as hell. But oh well, at least at least Reiner saved Porco, because Aaron already has the founding attack. And now he has the Warhammer Titan. Four Titan powers? No, 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 no. Reiner's like, no, look, dude, you're already OP. We're not gonna be having this crap. Hell no. Or the rest of us is gonna have to start relying on hacks to stand a chance against you. <laughs> but yeah, like I said earlier. So, Aaron pretty much KOs Reiner. Reiner saves Porco, listening from Gabby and Falco screaming for help. And then, let's get on to the Survey Corps. So, it looks like the Survey Corps are retreating from their battle with Marley. Marley pretty much took an L, and the Survey Corps pretty much took a W. You see Flock and most of them cheering, and you see John and them feeling kind of guilty about what they've done. So, it goes to show that they're not humanless. They're not inhumane monsters. You know what's funny? This arc does a good job making Aaron and Levi look like the villains. Well, there are no heroes or villains in Attack on Titan. It's just perspective. But, you know, for this arc, it kind of makes it look like Aaron and them are the bad guys. So they're retreating. Looks like they're retreating back to the island. And then you see General McGough get catching up with Peek and all that stuff. Now, here's where we get to the interesting part. Now, as we saw back in episode five, we see this mysterious person trap Porco and Peek here, and it's revealed this is a lady with blonde hair. Now, spoilers, if you don't want to know her name, that's fine. If you do want to know her name, if you're like, eh, knowing a person's name isn't really spoiler to me too much. So I'm just going to say right now, spoilers, if you don't want to know her name, but if you do want to know her name, I'm being honest, it's really a light spoiler. I'm only going to tell you her name. I'm not giving anything extra away. But if you don't want to know her name, that's fine. But if you do want to know her name and be like, yeah, I don't care. It's just a light spoiler. This is Yelena, guys. And you will know more about her later on. Now, let's get on to other stuff. Ooh, all the survey corps are very mad at Aaron. So, as you can tell, even by two, episode, two episodes ago when Mikasa told Aaron, please come home. It looks like Aaron pretty much forced the scouts to come, and they're pretty much all getting on his neck. In fact, as soon as Aaron got on the ship, Levi immediately kicked him. Ah, we're all having those season one flashbacks. But to be honest, you can't really blame the survey corpse here. I guess they're pretty much mad like, yo, you've been camping in this one spot? What if they would have found your ass? But <laughs> you don't, you can't really blame them. So you see that the survey corpse are all pretty much angry at Aaron because he pretty much dragged them all into this. And then, you know, we get the news from Connie that Sasha died. <laughs> oh, well. And then you see Aaron. Ooh, what's with this weird, crazy laugh? Aaron, it's almost like season two where Aaron busted down crying. This is more of an example of a mental breakdown. But you see all of his survey corps basically get on Aaron's ass like, this is all your fault, Aaron. And you see Aaron actually feel kind of bad for it. But basically, like I said, looks like Marley took a L. And their server corps are mad at Aaron. And let's, like I said, rip Sasha. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that's my review for Attack on Titan Season 4, Final Season, Episode 8 Review. Unfortunately, I had to keep this review a little bit short because I'm working on a lot of stuff this weekend. So that's all I just wanted to say. I can't wait to see the next episode. Night Star out.